lighting may have changed again because it's the next day and it got too late yesterday but we're gonna disregard that and i put the same clothes on so it's like nothing ever happened anyway all right moving on to the yusufs this first look we're just starting out with a banger okay this first look first of all like i mean both of them look nice but nunai girl what are we doing like honestly where has this been like she always slays they always slay but like this is like giving it's like new character has been unlocked that's what it's giving to me um i love the detail like the the nice like jewelry that she has on i love the bob with her hair and a bob now and like is giving i like that she did this little like sheer um beaded shirt underneath um her blazer on top of like that other like tank or whatever and makes it like gives it some texture gives it some it just gives it everything that it needs to give and the pants the pants are slaying like it's like a little bit of like dainty jewelry it's giving dark romance which is like a trend and i love it like the pants there's like nice and fitted where it needs to fit but then at the bottom a little bit of flare i love it i love the look i feel like i'm not even gonna start giving out what's my favorites and what's my what's not my favorites right now but uh, i love her look it's like immaculate from head to toe simple pointed toe shoe nice little um silver bag we love to see it and i'll wear this whole look all together and eat it up for dinner lunch breakfast dessert snack anyways um also um Nesteha, her look was really nice. I like the jumpsuit, like the um that was on the bottom, like the um uh velvet jumpsuit that she has on. She also wore the same blazer as um as Nunai did. I think they kind of like were trying to do that together so they can coordinate, obviously. And she has like the little brooches, which I feel like were really cool um to go with it. I don't know if I would have done the brown um shoes, the Amina Mawati. Amina Mawati? Or mock and mock I, i'm getting confused i don't know i don't remember i feel like i want to say it's mock and mock i keep getting them mixed up but anyways um the shoes i think i wouldn't have done the brown shoes with her look i think i think i would have done something different i don't like the the um the large bow i don't think with it because it's like she already has the brooch and it's kind of like competing with each other to me um but i love the choker she said the choker is limited edition h and m um and so she was like girl don't even try to find it i was like okay period but yeah i like it i like the look um but nunai knocked it out of the park for me for this one but they both looked really good to, like together as a pair and yeah started off strong okay so this next look i really like as well um it's kind of like they have writing all over there like uh or all over the blazer and the top um and yeah i feel like they both look really really good i feel like this time nesteha kind of eats a little bit harder for me but they both they both are giving i felt I was like girl is that a tassel on your shoe like i was like you know how you'd be like <laughs> So that's what i was doing and i was like that's cute or whatever a little bit of a little bit of um extra razzle dazzle um but yeah i like the little um mini bottega jody or whatever i like the glasses that she chose with the brown like um lens inside i feel like that was a good moment to do like the brown with the black and white um yeah i just really like this look i feel like it's really cool i love like stuff like this kind of like the old timey with like the writing on it and everything um so yeah i really like this look okay so this next set of looks i really like um it was for bevza i think it was for more than one show i think they mentioned that they went to um two shows with these looks on but um i really like this look i like that she has the little corset um nunai has a little corset on top of the, the shirt i always like that type of vibe little moment um and i feel like the whole look was really nice i like this day has looked really nicely i like the gray on her um i'm trying to think i've ever seen her in like a full gray look i don't think i have and i think it looks really good on her her skin tone um i like the suspenders 
um, that she was wearing. I think they're really cool, very cute. It kind of like reminds you of like when you're like in high school and you're wearing like the hot topic like suspenders or like random like stuff like that. But like make it fashion and make it like like because I feel like a lot of people have been saying like I'm dressing for like what I wish I would have worn in high school or what I wish I would have worn like in college or whatever. And I feel like it's kind of like one of those moments, but like it actually is like it eats <laughs> and is giving. Um, so yeah, I feel like this was a really, um, a really nice look. Okay, so for Pat Bow, they're wearing full Pat Bow looks. I always love when they go to these shows, um, or to the shows for Pat Bow because I really like Pat Bow and I like the stuff that they wear when they go to the shows. So I like, um, New Nye's, like, kind of, like, neck piece, like, that goes with the dress or whatever. I feel like the dress like with all the jewels it seems like it would be super heavy um however I, so i feel like it wouldn't work as a strapless it would probably keep falling down like hella but the fact that it like you know goes around her neck and everything probably helps it to stay up and in place um even though you could add like tape and all these different things it probably would still be like a lot um but i really like it i love this on her i feel like it's interesting because this seems like something that and stay how I would wear and like basically they would swap um but I like it on her and I think it looks really nice um and then I think I thought at first that on uh, a house look was like a dress but it's a two-piece um or two different pieces like I think she said it was like a body um bodysuit and a skirt um so yeah I really like these looks and yeah it's giving Pat Bo always gives so I expected nothing less this is their looks um it's laquan smith everybody i feel like had a little laquan with smith moment um i do not necessarily like these looks for them i think because or maybe it's the blazers because I, but i feel like they did the blazers on top just like because it's like nighttime and it's a little bit more well no because it was really hot there i don't know but I feel like I would like it better without the blazers. Also, they had like the headbands on, um, or maybe only one of them did. I don't remember, or they both did. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe it was just the way it was styled because I don't necessarily dislike the dresses. I like the shoes. Um, she wore this, um, the same shoes, uh, Nesteha with the Pat Bow show as well. The Decori, um, and the Decori shoes. So I like the shoes. I like like the idea behind it i think i just don't like the blazers with it i think it's kind of like like it's like toning it down a little bit and it's like we don't want you to tone it down we want you to like give everything that we need to see um so yeah i feel like i wish they would have toned it down a little bit and just kept like just showed like the dresses and like kept it like that instead of doing like you know the dark glasses the dark like um well the glass is not even the issue but like or maybe like different glasses like i don't know but i think the blazer is really like kind of bringing it down a little bit for me i don't know what are y'all's opinion let me know what you think okay so this is their look for bruce glenn and um basically they have a um like full cheetah print look and then you can see as uh nesteha or not nesteha as nuna is walking that there's like a little bit of rainbow like fabric like on the inside which is very on brand for um bruce glenn because that's like kind of their vibe like doing like all the bright and vibrant colors so i i like that they kind of incorporated that still even with like doing a little bit of a different pattern um and this isn't my favorite pattern or color of um cheetah like the gray and like the orangey like brassy reddish orange color um also like the really tiny like cheetah print so i don't know and i also feel like these looks like on nesteja is kind of like seems a little bit big um on her and then same thing which sometimes like, it doesn't really bother me because i know like fashion week you can't like get everything tailored right away especially if you're getting dressed by the brand like it might not fit you perfectly but like i don't know it just like feels kind of like i don't know <laughs> i don't know what's the word that i'm looking for like frumpy maybe is the word i don't know but i don't really like the way it fits on her even like new night's look i feel like it's it fits her properly it, it seems like it does but 
I don't know. But I feel like overall it's just like not my favorite look. Like all I mean I can't I don't know. It's just it's not my favorite look. I don't know. I feel bad because I really like the brand and what they the guys like who own the brand and like what they stand for and everything like that. I just really don't favor these looks. But I don't know. I feel bad. Let me know what you guys think. This next look, they have it's like very um opposites like black and white. Um, and okay, so for, I feel like it's going to be an interesting, like, I feel like you guys are going to expect me to not like the look, or maybe a lot of people don't like it, or maybe, it's really, it's like a love or hate thing that Nesteja is wearing, but at first I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> but I feel like I like it, like I started, it started growing on me the more that I saw it, because I feel like it's. It's kind of one of those things where it's like, I rather you go over the top and do a lot and then it's like either you love it or you hate it instead of just being like, oh, okay, it's cute and like, it's kind of like simple or like basic. So I feel like for this, like she has like the really cool, interesting shoes. She has the, um, you know, like the love it. I feel like the whole look was the love it. I think she said the top, the shorts, she has a little loewe belt on. I think the sunnies were also loewe. Um, or actually, no, I think the sunglasses were Gucci, um, but like basically like, the whole Loewe look, um, and she has like the socks with the, with the heels on, and it's like, it's weird and it's quirky, um, but I feel like it works, and it's like you got the little ball pushed behind the ears and like the sunglasses on, it's just like, mm, quirky, but like, like fashion, you know what I mean? So, I like it. I like it a lot. I feel like originally I was like, I don't really know, but I think I like the way it was pulled together a lot um for a new nice look i feel like it was really cool i like i think she said the skirt was banana republic um top was prada so yeah i feel like the look was really cool um the bell is Derek lamb so i everybody or not Derek lamb um dylan lex and they were wearing a lot of dylan lex accessories because i feel like um earlier when we mentioned the um some of the the suspenders that she wore uh that nesteja wore were dylan lex and then also the jewelry with the first look that really popped off that nunai was looking i think was dylan lex the necklaces and stuff like that so yeah i feel like this is a brand i'm gonna have to look out for especially for accessories because it looks like he, he's like he's showing up and he's giving um there's like a little locket on her belt um so yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I feel like the look the look eats for both of them. It was really nice. It was really cool. I feel like it's something that you don't see all the time. Somebody does something a little bit weird and quirky. I mean, that's what we're supposed to do at Fashion Week, right? And so I feel like we do give a lot of like over the top and a lot of like, ba-bam, wow, here I am, bow, bow, bow type of looks, but not like anything like kind of like mm -mm, quirky and weird. You know, I well, let me not say that because we did have like the whole black, like, I can't stand the rain, Missy Elliott look with Monroe. And that was quirky and that was weird. Um, so as well as like some of the other looks that she did with like the bubble, like yellow skirt, like different stuff like that. So I guess that's kind of like a little bit off kilter. But yeah, I like when people do stuff like that in certain ways. It just depends. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna be talking about Sai, um, her IG name or socials are uh, Scout the City or is Scout the City. Um, and I wanted to talk about her this time because last time she had a few looks that kind of like made me like, hold on, let me like, let me get into what she's putting down. And also I just like, um, I, well, I found out about her because I was looking up different New York Fashion Week stuff on YouTube and that's how I found her. But apparently she's on The Real Housewives of New York now as of like the past couple of months she just got on it. Um, I found her before that um, and I didn't even know that like I, I don't watch The Housewives show. But maybe I would now. I don't know. I've never, um, I don't think I've watched it besides like as a kid in the background when your parents are watching. Anyways, um, so we're going to talk about her look. So her first look was for the Leon's show. Um, and 
or I don't think it was a shot I feel like it was a presentation um but yeah and so this is like kind of like just a cute little simple look she has like the little black cutout turtleneck whatever it's giving really fall vibes jeans or whatever it's nothing like to write home about or whatever but it's cute it's simple I like her hair I do my hair like this sometimes with like the middle like the braid um the braid or like the twist in the middle and like the rest is like swooped back um except oh, let me see I think hers is a pony yeah hers is like a ponytail I'm pretty sure or it has braids at the back but I normally just do a little bun in the back but maybe I'll do mine like that next time I don't know but it's cute um so yeah I like the look it's nothing crazy but just start off like a little something a little something like okay I really like this look I like the trench coat um in the reel that or the I keep saying I'm gonna keep saying real because I don't use TikTok as much I'm just now starting to get like into TikTok also go follow me over there on TikTok if you haven't because I'm starting to like be over there as well but um anyway so in the video she had this jacket on and like the dress was like really simple underneath the jacket really like makes the look but I feel like this is just like a really cute everyday look for fall um kind of like similar to the last one this was obviously a little bit more zhuzhed up um but I like this. I think it's really nice. I love the glasses, like the choice that she did with the little like, like, I don't know what, what's the word, the cat eye um, type of like sunglasses. I love that. Um, I actually don't have a pair like that. So I probably need to like hop on game. But yeah, I love this look. I feel like it's really good just for like a casual transitional summer to fall look um and yeah i think it's really nice okay this is a very um desiree type of look um so unbiasedly i'll say that it is a little bit like i guess simple or whatever but i love it okay <laughs> like it's pointed toe it's like nice and tailored and like mm, like the good nice shoulders it's like a lot of leg is showing got a nice little cute top handle structured bag like i love it i love it there's nothing that i don't like about it so <laughs> um of course i'm biased like i said i love the shoes i like the way like you can see like she's like standing sideways in some of the photos until you'll see it but i like the way it kind of like goes into like a um ankle strap because a lot of times you see like with plain toes just like regular like court house type shoe or like it's like a um um what is it called like a sling back but not necessarily a um like you know something that wraps around the ankle so I kind of like that I think it's cool and I also like that it covers up more of her foot than just like the front it makes it a little bit more interesting a little bit more like to me like a little bit more like punk type of vibe um and then the chain on the bag it's like low-key like bringing in a little bit more of that like vibe without doing it like over the top um if you know what I mean so yeah I really like this look um yeah I like it <laughs> this next look is Valentina or not Valentina what am I saying I think the shoes are Valentino um Laquan Smith and I really like this again this dress was like the material it was super noisy if you watch um I don't have it with sound obviously so you can hear me but um if you go to her TikTok and you see this video that she has posted you can hear the dress is like super noisy and she was saying something like you're gonna be able to hear this dress before I come in the room or something like that but um I think it looks really really good on her I think it's really nice I like the brown like the the color on her um, and yeah, the shoes I'm pretty sure are Valentino. Um, but yeah, it's like a really cute little party look. I think people were saying that he threw like an after party as well. Um, cause Karen had a look, um, that was for his after party. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, so I liked it. I liked it a lot and I feel like it was a cute, like little moment. This next look is Michael Kors and, um, for the Michael Kors show. And I think... For me, I don't dislike the look at all, but it, it kind of like, I feel like it ages her a little bit, the look. Um, maybe it's just, I feel like I said something like this last time we were talking about on um, the uses and they wore something that was kind of like, like kind of like consumed them a little bit. And I feel like this doesn't necessarily consume her. I feel like it fits nicely for her body. However, I feel like it makes her look a little bit older than she is like i feel like if this would be something that would be nice um 
well i was gonna say like mother of the bride or something like that however it's like too casual i think like the knit makes it a little bit too casual but i don't know maybe not i feel like this would be something that like you know someone wears that is a little bit older um although like she is like I mean, I don't know. Like, I know she's, like, in her 40s and stuff, but, like, girl, like, it gives, like, 65 plus to me. Like, and I don't feel like, maybe if she styled it differently, um, I don't know. But I feel like it does, like, age her a little bit. Like, it looks a little bit, like, matronly, a little bit older than something that you see her in, like, earlier. We were talking about her in the, you know, with the legs out and the pointed toe and the blazer and then like she has this on later on you know what i mean so i don't know what do you guys think do you feel like i'm tripping or do you feel like this does is a little bit like older but also it's like she was getting dressed by the brand um and so it's like okay we have like these looks for you to pick from and if everybody picked all the good stuff and this was like what was left then like maybe that's part of the reason or maybe like there was a bunch of stuff left and she just liked this one the best um, so I don't know. I don't dislike it. Again, like, I feel like I'm indifferent about if I like it for her or not. Like, for, you know, like, she's still, like, very youthful and, like, all of that. And I just don't know if I like it for her. But I like the garment on its own. I'm just, like, that's the only thing that's tripping me up. But let me know what you guys think because I'm, like, on the fence. And I'm curious, like, to know if you guys agree or not. Okay. So we're going to talk about Tamara now and her looks. Um, her first look is giving like similar vibes to Sai in the first look that she wore for Leon's. Um, and so this is Gucci. She's wearing this little horse bit bag. I think it was gifted to her. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's, it's standard. She was like, oh, this is my kind of look. She's very like, um, well not all the time, but she kind of like does a lot of like neutrals, minimalist, um monochrome not always monochrome but like kind of like just you know more like laid back type of looks and like when she stepped it's like a little bit different than like how other people do um in means of like it's not going to probably be like a super bright color it's probably not going to be like you know what i mean like it's kind of a little bit more understated her fashion um and a little bit more like you know how people have been saying um i'm thinking high luxury but that's not the word that i'm trying to say what is the word you guys know what i'm talking about quiet luxury quiet luxury i feel like is like somewhat her vibe but at the same time like it's not because she wears stuff with like logos and like all type of stuff at the same time but i guess just like minimalist like a little bit more understated but like elevated at the same time so i feel like that's kind of more her style and like this is just you know a simple look not anything crazy you know this look for kate i love on her i like i like the video just in general because i like that she's walking with her man it's like yes i think he, he also works in fashion i'm pretty sure he works for i want to say they mentioned one time that he works for off white or maybe i looked at his instagram or something like, i don't remember but i think that's where he works or he works like with them or something affiliated with him but he also just he just works in fashion as well um but don't quote me on where his, his whereabouts are with fashion and work and all that because i'm i normally just keep up with her but um i like the video it's like it's giving and we love to see it she has like the really nice um cute earrings like the chunky ones that we we're all talking about from bottega i'm pretty sure these are the bottega ones it's not specified but i think that they are um she has like the nice like halter it's like i don't think i've ever seen a halter like this where it's like it doesn't really look like a halter but it's like you can tell it is a halter at the same time so i think that's pretty cool again it's like very understated it's like this gray color it may be army green like if you were in person but i'm gonna say gray because it looks gray from like what i can see um but yeah i really like it i like the pointed toe heels i like this like kind of like a little bit cool with the you know the glasses like i just like the look i think it looks really good on her it's her style and i think it's a very cool cool girl type of look the bag i'm pretty sure is also kate um i feel like it looks like it's not my favorite bag i think that's the only thing but i feel like it works with the look but i feel like that's the only thing that's like something that i probably wouldn't buy or that i wouldn't that i don't like necessarily for myself however um it reminds me of something like you know how they've been like making oh it's gonna sound so bad it's gonna sound so bad oh my gosh should i say it? it's gonna sound so bad but don't 
don't come for me but like it reminds me of like you know how they be doing the lunch boxes nowadays they're like little lunch pails little lunch purses that but they're trying to make them more like stylish for like the girlies who are like in corporate and stuff i feel like i feel like that's what this reminds me of low-key um like the shape of it and everything um and just like the way the jewels or the studs or like whatever just like like look like they're just like stuck on there i don't know i don't know i don't know but i like the look okay i like the look don't come for me okay i like the look okay for dion lee i don't know if she ever ended up specifying which one she ended up wearing she had a reel where she showed like three different looks and she was like which one do you guys think i ended up wearing um but i'm trying to decide i don't think maybe by the time this goes live she'll have specified and like posted the look um, but from when I'm filming this, it doesn't look like she's posted which look she actually ended up choosing. However, I want to say that I do like the first look. Um, the white, like, dress is really cute. I like this bag with it. Um, I like also that she did a red heel with it because it's, like, a little bit, a little bit unexpected. It's like, why you went with red shoes? And it's like, yes, girl, I went with red shoes, like, and get into it. And, you know, I feel like it kind of works. The other two looks, I feel like the second look is, like, not my favorite. The last look is kind of cool, but I think I like the first look a lot better. But out of these three looks, which one do you guys like? And maybe she would have ended up posting by now which look she chose, um, so you might already know. But out of these three looks, which one do you feel like works the best? So we have another Proenza look. Um, again, I said that I feel like the girlies be giving for Proenza, and I feel like she has done just that. Um, there's a lot of rouging and like pulls and like scrunch happening um which is like not necessarily my favorite thing however on her i love it i feel like it looks really good um it looked kind of like parachute like like that you know how people have been doing like the parachute pants like, like scrunch at the bottom or something um it looks like it's kind of like that material or something but i like it i like i think it looks really good i like the bag with it as well because the bag kind of like um brings out the texture in the dress um i also like that she did the red shoes i don't feel like she had to do red shoes with this she could have done brown um since she's wearing like brown glasses although for her since she's stepping out she's doing a red because she said that she these are her first pair of red shoes she doesn't own the other um red shoes she just got these so she's probably like really excited that she just got these shoes in for fashion week for some of her looks um and it's a little bit of pop of color so i'm not gonna complain about um her having some color and i like i like the look i think it looks really cute really good this next look is area um i love this look a lot i like metals i feel like there's something that like happens within me when i see like people do like metals with like black and like it has a little bit of bling has like a little bit of sexiness like i like that she did the leg showing um i love the dress i think the dress is really cute she had um another option as well because she had a video showing like which one should i do should i do this one or this one she's trying to decide which one she should wear um and so yeah i think i like this that she went with this one i like it a lot i like the purse we mentioned the purse already and i like it with the look because i feel like with the and also she's doing silver heels as well so i feel like it just all comes together the way that it should um i also like that she did her hair up because sometimes like she'll just do like a pony or she'll do her hair down sometimes she'll even do like half up half down but i like that she has it up for this look because it like makes you look more at what is going on you know all the the baba boom with the the sparkles and yeah I like this look a lot i feel like it's very it's like kind of like cute and dainty but a little bit of like punk like at the same time which we've mentioned what other people have been doing this as well and i kind of like the crossover with this like cute but sexy at the same time because of the metals and so i really like that i feel like this is a trend that i need to hop on but i also don't have that many metallics in my closet so maybe that needs to change but yeah okay for michael kors you can tell she was really feeling herself she said that this was like her favorite last season that her michael kors look um was her favorite look um out of like i think all of her fashion week or new york fashion week looks um and i agree i feel like or for this time around i feel like she ate again i feel this is probably one of my top favorite looks for her for this fashion week 
um i love that it's simple at the top it's just like it seems like basically it's not but it seems like it's just like a white beater on top like just like okay i'm wearing a tank top and what but at the bottom like the bling like the shimmer she thought it was like a 10 a.m show um but she was like i don't care that it's like sparkle and stuff happening um and so yeah i like that it's like a super high slit and the the bling i like the arm cuff as well um i kind of even like that she just did one because i feel you know obviously it was trending to do like two but i like that she even just did one um and i like the little clutch i like the whole look i like the whole look i like the silver like the whole monochrome this is very on brand for her um and i love it i love the look i like that she did her hair down as well since it's like very simple up top I like that she did her hair down. Um, it makes it a little bit more sexy, like letting my hair down type of vibe. Um, yeah, I feel like this is probably my favorite. This is my favorite look. I don't even know why I'm thinking about it so hard. This is my favorite look for her. I wanna say that the area look is probably my second favorite so far. Um, maybe also with the Proenza, but I really like the area as well. But this is definitely my favorite look from her um, for New York Fashion Week this season. Okay, so next we're going to be talking about Brown Girl Chief. Um, her first look, she was going to Harlem's Fashion Row, same thing as uh, Monroe. And she also was wearing, um, or she was also going to the Pretty Little Thing, the Pretty Little Thing event that was happening. So she um is wearing the same skirt as monroe was wearing earlier but hers is in a different color well it may not be in a different color maybe just like the editing on monroe's photo like makes it look a little bit different um but she's wearing the same skirt and she's wearing a little bomber with a little like white tank underneath um honestly it kind of looks like a white beater um underneath and then um yeah she has like her little um Fendi bag and then her cheetah print booties so let me break down this look so I feel like a um again like the colors aren't like matchy matchy which is fine for me it doesn't have to be perfectly um army green for like the jacket and the um the skirt for it to like work for me um, so I don't really mind that. However, I don't necessarily like the shirt underneath. You can see her bra underneath. She's wearing a black bra underneath her shirt. And so I feel like the shirt is not working for me. It, she needs like a thicker um, white tank underneath or white t-shirt or whatever to go underneath. Also, um, she's like mixing patterns with the shoes and the bag, which is fine but I don't necessarily like this mixing of patterns because of the color. Now the shoes match the color of the jacket, so that's fine. But the bag is like different color than everything else. So I feel like you're gonna have like a pop like that, like the bag, if you're gonna have pattern and a different color in the bag, it still like goes because of the tones are still the same as like the skirt and the jacket, but she should have done different shoes, like a little bit more understated shoe, in my opinion, or something that, um, yeah, something like a neutral, color maybe the shoe could have matched like the color of the shoe could have matched the bag something like that um so yeah overall it's not my favorite look but I see like where she's going with it and I feel like it could have been better executed if there was like just a few tweaks so yeah that's my opinion but let me know what you guys think in the comments because I'm always curious to know y'all's opinions on what I'm what I'm thinking or where my brain is going like where's your brain going do you feel like what direction do you feel like she could have went with this or do you feel like you like it the way it is i don't know let me know this look she um mentioned that it was for a event with dylan lex um or carol oh yeah, yeah so this is the brand that they went to she was saying this event for uh carolyn gray and then um maybe in collaboration with dylan lex and so this was like um i think where janae saw that big like bulky necklace that she might have bought the necklace from she might not have but um i know they were like looking at jewelry and stuff there but anyway she's wearing this 
you know these white trousers right what the white trousers and this um snake print shirt like um she's like python in the video um but yeah so i think um it's very kind of like cool and casual um like not like super casual but like, you know like elevated casual um and yeah i just kind of like understated like maybe something just like a little bit chill i'm going out for drinks i'm gonna have you know this little event and like maybe she wasn't trying to like come too aggressively with this look so it's kind of like an in-betweener but yeah so um i feel like for me like the only thing that i would say like as a critique um or to critique it at all would just maybe be like since um the top and the top is like loose and flowy and the pants are the same like maybe do something a little bit different with the top maybe she could have like scrunched up the sleeves a little bit or like you know like she could have even just to make it a little bit cooler scrunched up the sleeves maybe put her hair up put some sunglasses on it would have made it a little bit more cool um however like maybe that's not what she's going for for this look so it just kind of depends on like what you're trying to achieve um with the look that day so yeah this was like her kind of like schoolgirl look so I, it's funny because i feel like the look they were talking about before that was pretty interesting with miss deha was like kind of schoolgirl vibes as well um but in a different way but yeah so it's kind of like she was saying like a little bit schoolgirl um cool vibes and yeah so she has like this little leather skirt on um and then like she has like this blazer which is really cool it's kind of like off the shoulder on one side and then, then it has like I don't know if this is like a top that's underneath the blazer or if this is like part of the blazer but it like crosses over up into um the other side and it has like a little brown um like ball i guess <laughs> on the shoulder um so i think this blazer is really really cool um i actually would like to see this blazer styled more ways i need to find out who the blazer is by Sorry about that. Uh -huh. All right. Um, I need to find out who this blazer is by, um, because I really like it, and I'm curious to find out some more. Um, but yeah, and then she has like her cute little Lady Dior, the kind of like longer one, or some people be saying East West, I don't know. But um, with her Versace, I'm pretty sure shoes and yeah so with the little socks and everything so i feel like you know like the socks with the loafers like it's kind of like a vibe um for fall but it's like still summery because she's like the short skirt and everything so it's very good transitional looks so i feel like it's really cool i feel like it looks kind of like interesting on her like i don't know again i feel like i want like i don't know there's like something about it that feels like either missing or feels like it needs to be changed but I like the look a lot. Um, so I'm curious like as to like what I feel like needs to be done. Um, Cause at first I was like, is the jacket like clashing with the skirt? Like since there's like a lot of like pleats and stuff in the skirt, is the jacket clashing with that? Cause it's like, are they competing with each other? Um, but I don't know if I feel like that's the issue. But I like the look. So I'm just gonna say that I like it cause I can't really put my finger on what it is about it that I feel like is off um but overall i feel like it's a really cool look i really love this blazer and i like the kind of like school girl vibes and like it's a good transitional um transitional outfit for fall so yeah this is her look for sergio hudson he's wearing a full red lace suit she has red plain toe heels on she's like the jewelry um that we were talking about earlier and then she has her little black lady dior um so yeah i really like this suit um i really like this suit like i just really like it i think it looks really nice i like that she did a plain toe heel with it um maybe a different bag um but besides that i really like it i feel like well i think for me it's just because like since the bag is quilted and it has like some texture and then the suit also has um the lace and that's texture is kind of like competing with each other a little bit in my opinion um so yeah i feel like that's the only thing but i really like this suit um trying to decide if i like the jewelry with it and everything like she has kind of like the bulky jewelry on um like the necklaces and stuff 
but regardless i feel like the suit was really cool very very cute i like the structured uh shoulders of it as well this reminds me of something that i saw that was that had like black and red like florals like it was like a suit that had black and red florals and i really liked it um and but except this is obviously a lot different this isn't just floral it's actually like lace and it's like texture to it and stuff like that um so yeah i feel like it's interesting i feel like i'll probably like this suit better in a different color but i still like this suit and i think it looks um very cool so yeah okay so this is the look that she wore for like a meet and greet that she was doing i think she did the meet and greet and collab with uh politics and fashion and um yeah so i think that this was pretty cool looks definitely more like you know it's not casual um but well like i just feel like that's what like she was probably trying to go for like a little something a little bit more you know like understated a little bit more laid back maybe not understated a little bit more laid back um but still like shows the fashion since like the girlies are probably gonna come and meet her that are looking for like the fashion at the same time so the jeans that she's wearing these like over the top jeans with these super huge cutouts are um area and i love these jeans i feel like these jeans are really really cool um they're super statementy and like it does a lot for you without you having to do a lot with it you know what i mean um you know i also really like these glasses i feel like lately i've been really liking when people are doing like the orange or like brown tint glasses with like the black frame um so maybe i need to keep that in mind maybe i need to get me a pair but yeah i feel this is a really cool look um maybe the jacket is not needed but i think she took it off later on um but maybe she was trying to do a little bit extra for you know the photos and everything like that so yeah let me know what you guys think about this look okay this look i kind of like the like you know she's walking and it's like flowing but she had a reel that was like or a tiktok that was saying um this is like straight off the runway something something it was like the nini leaks um like sound or whatever and um i guess this is from this is samantha black but yeah it's like a trench a trench um it's like a trench jacket dress um so yeah i feel like that's kind of interesting like concept and everything kind of like a leather jacket almost um at the top like with like the moto like the you know like the way like leather jackets look at the top but then it's like also like a trench vibe because like is long and like bulky and stuff and has like the tie at the waist which is like kind of like more of a trench vibe it's kind of like a mixture of a couple of different things within one dress um so i feel like it's pretty cool um the yellow color and everything i don't know if how i feel about that but i do feel like it looks really cool um on her and everything like that i don't know if the boots were the best choice with this or maybe it's she did wear this bag um a lot so maybe she could have switched out the bag but also she's probably trying to repurpose for packing purposes um so yeah i feel like i feel like maybe the accessories like the shoes and the bag could have been changed a little bit and it would have been a little bit more um for me um I don't know why for some reason i'm thinking red would go good with this but like you don't want to look like ronald mcdonald's like you don't want to look like like ketchup and mustard like you know so i don't know but i'm feeling like something red would have looked cool with it like a red heel or a red bag but i would have to see it and then maybe i would see it and be like yeah never never mind <laughs> um so yeah i don't hate the look but i feel like is just like i like the concept of like this trench leather jacket situation i feel like that's pretty cool and i wonder if it comes in other colors okay and so that is all for the influencers for this new fashion week review but i did mention that i had an honorable mention and it is a good honorable mention okay i could not go and like tell you guys about all these looks without mentioning this person and this person is Lori Harvey. She ate during Fashion Week. Honestly, her stylist ate during Fashion Week. Um, so obviously, some of these people, um, the influence stuff, like might have like you know people on their team that are helping them with outfits and stuff like that. For the most part, they're styling themselves. Um, as far as I know, some of the ones that I said that I'm a little bit newer on and like just now starting to like get to know and stuff like that. I don't really know 
what their strategies are but for the most part most of the girls that i mentioned before they're dressing themselves they're like styling themselves they might get something that they got lent from a brand and they have to like style it with what they have um so she does have a little bit of an advantage in that area because of the fact that she has a stylist that picked out all of her looks for her um although like we don't really know the behind the scenes maybe she had someone um or maybe she had like some her, some of her own input like i really want to wear this like help me accessorize it or something we don't really know but um i'm gonna give all credit to the stylist just because he was the one who was posting about it and that's why i saw like the, the looks and everything and i am in love with how he did this fashion week like this blue and like teal sweater scarf dress eats my life like i want this so bad and like this is what you're this is like what is supposed to happen like you're supposed to make me want what you have on and it's sold it's sold to me like the sleeves are scrunched up i love the heels that he chose with it the sunglasses are just making more like i don't even care like what are you talking about like oh yeah this like that's what it's giving um so i love it i really 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 love this look um i feel like it was over the top it was something that like we wouldn't be expecting it's something that was off of the runway um so maybe also it's a lot easier for stylists because like they have more different connects than influencers might have and like you know talking with designers trying to get something pulled off the runway stuff like that so that's also a different advantage but still i wanted to mention that and then she had this other look for the victoria's secret um um event that she wore and the victoria's secret show like it was just like a lot of people were coming in their um lingerie and everything like that okay so i got cut off more than once but um i've handled the situation and we're back now basically i wanted to mention Lori harvey she had her good really great look that i just mentioned then she had the victoria's secret show look and that was next level obviously like she had the bra on but like it wasn't giving well obviously it's giving bra because like it's just a bra but it felt like more like a bralette or like you know like a little bralette top the way it was styled um so it doesn't look like too like raunchy i guess to me um but i thought it was really really nice like the way her hair was it was really cute um and yeah, I just feel like it was styled perfectly. I like the really chunky belts in the middle. It looks like there is double belt. I don't know if it's one belt with two buckles or if it's um, two belts like over uh, overlap, but I really like that. I like layering with belts and stuff like that. I think it looks really nice. I like that it's a little mini skirt. It is a lot of boob because she has a lot, a good, a good amount, you know, but um, yeah. I overall just really like this look and I had to include that in here she had a couple other looks as well she had like this really cool like black hooded look that she um, they had a video of her like uh, on like an elevator or something with like a lot of go gold like chunky jewelry and like really cool scrunched up um, gloves like those are really nice um, the gloves were like velvet and stuff like that so I thought that was really cool was, like a lot of um, just fire looks i just like feel like she popped off for fashion week and i had to mention it. I had to mention these looks um before i signed off with you guys for the rest of fashion week i think um london fashion week i is just about finished or it finished already um we're about to go into milan so i'll definitely have the milan video out to next to you soon i might do a mini london fashion week video if i can get at least three influencers that actually went and like wore more than like two looks um but we'll see let me know down below if you want to see a london fashion week video or not in the comments check out my instagram go follow me over there my instagram is at dnn style also my tiktok is that also that's my handle here at you on youtube um so yeah if you enjoyed this video and you've made it all the way to this point i love you and obviously we're friends now and by this point you've been hearing me for the past like hour basically <laughs> um so yeah why don't you stick around why don't you subscribe i'd love to have you here talk to you a little bit more talk to you about milan i'm excited to see what the girlies were to milan honey and then paris um so yeah definitely keep you know keep on staying tuned <laughs> i don't even know what i'm saying at this point <laughs> just stay
stay tuned for more fashion content if you like this type of content i'm your girl and of course if you like vlogs if you want to see some content with me and my my mians you can go over to our joint channel and subscribe to us over there as well but yes without um any more rambling because i've been talking a lot um i definitely want to hear you guys' um opinions on some of these looks though because sometimes i'll like give my opinion i'm like you know sometimes it takes me a minute to sit on it and be like mm, actually i did kind of like it better than what i thought i liked it in the video because i've watched some of my old ones and i'm like girl that wasn't it and you said it was cute like you lied to them but maybe at the moment i thought it was cute and then like later i'm like why did you say that wasn't cute because that was a look so sometimes um you know i'm just curious to hear what you guys think as well like obviously what i'm saying is not law it's just like this is what my opinion is in this moment and of course style changes everything evolves blah 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 but leave me a comment let me know your thoughts if you made it this far make sure to drop a comment in the comment section below so i know that you made it this far um let me know if there's anybody that you want me to review for the the next two fashion weeks um that i didn't review in this video i know there's a few other girlies that i didn't mention just because i had like already like seven or eight people and the video is already probably like extremely long right now it's gonna be terrible to edit but that's okay so if there are anybody that i might swap out some people or something for next for milan or paris so just let me know who you want to see and yes thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you guys soon